Welcome to Guardian 360. This video is just a short introduction to what Guardian 360 can do for you so that you can decide whether this is a product that you want to use. Um, firstly, over here we can see this is our Guardian 360 dashboard. Uh, from top left to right we have, firstly we've got Hacker Alerts. Hacker Alerts uh, monitor your systems daily. Uh, we set up a honey trap um, that will catch any intruder who tries to come in and you will get a daily alert as soon as that happens. We also have got uh, risks um, that are posed towards your system. Um, these are insights that are generated on a daily basis. Um, these insights have different gradings to them from critical, high, medium to low and just informational. Um, how this works is uh, either we've got a central scanner platform that uh, can scan our external IP addresses or ranges, which is great for websites or anything online, or if you've got a probe internally, the probe will scan assets within your network uh, to, to determine what risks are on them and what those risks pose to you as a business. Um, and then we've also got over here, you can see we've got uh, different uh, compliance modules. Uh, these compliance modules are related to various different industries. You would typically subscribe to one, maybe two of them. Uh, so if, say for example, you are subscribed to the ISO uh, norm, then you would have this tile on your dashboard. It will tell you where you're not complying. If you click through to this, it will give you a breakdown. So let's do a bit of clicking through to it. Uh, let's look at the hacker alerts. If we click on the hacker alerts, it will take you to the hacker alerts page. And from that page, you will be able to see all the hacker alerts that have not been acknowledged yet. Um, so there you can get more info, you can find out more about the attacker IP address and there's also further details if you need to know more about that. Uh, again back to the dashboard, if um, uh, on a daily basis, as we said previously, we run scans, uh, typically you would like to resolve those scans, you could either go to the issues table directly view your open issues or you could select if you just want to look at critical issues today you can do that or what's high risks um, so let's say for example let's click through to high risks you can see the filtered result is generated over here and there you can see all the high risks that are presented within your network um, you're able to filter this so here's a date range filter on the first detection date or a date range filter on the last detection date and from there you can also generate reports and uh, you can send those out. Uh, if you go into more details into one of these issues um, it gives you valuable information on what the, what the, what the issue is, um, how you can resolve it, there's an audit history on it more technical details and it also tells you uh, how this applies to specific non-conformities. Um, from here you're able to accept them. If you accept issues then you might decide that this is not really a risk or this is acceptable risk within my network. Um, it puts it into accepted li uh, list, uh, list and you can either deal with that later or um, when when it comes back to you, you, you can uh, uh, deal with it then, or just ignore it. Um, these these uh, tire, this this information doesn't just help you to resolve a specific issue, but also helps you to identify where there's bigger risks um, involved in your company. So, for example, if you can see the solution is to update the device then you should question yourself, do you have uh, update policy in place where you can mit mitigate a lot of these risks and you can test that policy by the issues that are presented. We're also able to view assets within the network. Um, 
So assets typically live within a scan object. A scan object is a group of assets. It it's, depends on the network, uh, uh, network engineers themselves, how they want to group those assets, um, how they want to define their scan objects. One way to do it is to uh, arrange them according to uh, the criticality of that asset. But from here you can see uh, this specific asset is uh, it's got a Windows, uh, it's a Windows uh, 2018 device and it's got 58 issues on these different risk levels. So you can get a really good overview of the different assets within your network. Um, I just wanted to have a quick look before we end this, uh, just go into the, the compliance, uh, compliance page. So here we're looking at uh, ISO 27 and 1 2022. Uh, there we can see our different uh, categories and we can see how compliant we are. We can see how many issues we've got according to that. Um, and from here we can resolve these issues and, and make sure that we're compliant. But not only make sure we're compliant, we can dem demonstrate to auditors um, when the time comes that we are really in control of our networks. And uh, this is something very valuable that we offer to our clients. So that's it in a nutshell. That's not everything, but uh, hopefully this can help you make a more informed decision. There's a 14-day free trial. You're welcome to reach out to us as well um, to help you set it up if you don't want to do it yourself. We've got some partners that are uh, many different partners that are specialized in various different sectors and can really offer you the solution that's necessary for you. And that's, that's it for all from me. Good luck and uh, may safe, safe uh, business ventures.